Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, episode 5 with uh, club number 3. We are back a little early, so after setting the record and guaranteeing promotion last episode, our club went in the tank. Uh, two road games, 3-1 uh, to one and 2-1 to one defeats. Winter Soldier with a goal, Liet Letty's got sent off. Winter Soldier with another goal brace from Franco Garcia. We we dominated these games statistically and all I can say is I think the players choked because they knew they had promotion and they didn't have anything to play for. Interestingly enough, if we go look at racing, they suffered a draw and a loss down the same stretch. Uh, they're getting a lot more fans, uh, I think, than we are. Let's see. Eh, no, home game, we're still all right. But uh, if we take a look, we are two points up, thanks to them losing that last match. Guaranteed promotion. The big question now is, do we bring home the silverware for winning the league? and meeting expectations for the club. So I'm not very happy that this that we've choked it away. I am very happy that we're still in the running, but that's why we're coming back for an episode today before the end of the season. Uh, last match is against racing, so it's all the marbles. A win or a draw, and we claim the title and get the silverware, and a loss, and we finish second. So, all or nothing at this point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We lose three matches on the season, and we've lost two in a row. I'm, I'm pretty upset. And then I couldn't go in and have a team meeting. It said there was no real good reason to have a team meeting. And I went, well, I can think of two pretty good reasons. <laughs> two losses in a row. Uh, we have a couple of injuries to deal with. So we'll have to sort those out. So that's going to put uh, the Winter Soldier up top, really. Hmm. Yeah, he's not bad. Cena, he's got pace. He just made his debut for his last uh, last match. Vieira, Pena, Arsheta, Andrade. No, I'd rather him... Um, Andrade up top, and then Liet is, is our starter on that side. I'd rather do that. I think I'd rather do that. Um, Ferreira. Hmm. All right, he's on loan. Compare with... Ferreira. Yeah, shot stopping's the same. Distribution. He's pretty darn eccentric. I'm not. I think eccentricity is actually pretty good for a keeper, but I'm. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> eccentricity. To do the unexpected. Kind of like Kiko Kassian, just run out of the box up to the midfield line. Which, luckily, he hasn't done this year. But he did it in the Derby playoff game last year, and that was not good. Uh, I think... I think I want him starting, yeah? I think I do. Because that's our guy also. We signed him. He's under contract. Wow, he just has not played a lot. Didn't we bring in a keeper? Oh, that's our keeper. He's injured, the young guy. Yeah, four to six weeks. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with Ferreira. I'll go with that. 
Oh my God. All right. So let's get to it. Oh, one of my dogs sounds like they're hyperventilating. Go drink some water. Jeez. Um, I am going to say passionate. All right. And we're on a bit of a slump. So let's go ahead and try to get the greenage up. Yeah, we'll we'll play the we'll play the odds. All right, we got the first shot off target. They got a long shot. Get creative. Oh, they got the first shot on target. I'm feeling nervous. Oh, hold on. Hello. Tactics. Work the ball into the box. Yep, that's that's what I want. Just make sure we haven't changed anything. All right. All right, Teixeira. Vieira. All right, some good ball movement. Good layback. Oh, right to the center there. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, he couldn't find an alley for the shot there. No. Off target. All right. No, oh, no, 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 no. You know, set pieces are like the bane of my existence. Oh, come on. Get a counter. Get a counter. Don't stomp him. Oh, my God, a leg whip. Oh, my God. Oh, he's got to be gone. Holy crap. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Uh, um, fuck. All right, we're still competent in this. All right, uh, you back here. You're going to go center there. And then Pena. Yeah, we'll go that way. Shit. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, my God. No, that is just horrible. I cannot believe he le He freaking leg whipped him. He leg whipped him. Holy shit. The first half sending off. Oh, dear God. If that's what cost is the freaking title. Oh, hello. That's got to be a sending off, too. Are we equal now? No. No? He did not even get a yellow card. Hello. He, he stomped my player off from the back. Playing well. Uh, Trashera, defensive left. Mm, let's go. Let's go look at it from here. All right. So this is actually. I'm gonna drop this to support. And then I think, oh, wait, Marrera's that short guy, and he? He's five, yeah, he's the 5'8", dude. Oh, my God, I don't want to put him over there. Zaspi? 
pace. Yeah, God, I feel a hell of a lot better with that. All right, let's put Venia, because Venia is the one that's tired. No, Teixeira's shit. Hold on. Teixeira, defensive right. Uh, really don't have anybody on the right, do I? Oh, here we go. Marrera's left. Left. Left and center. Yeah, I don't have anybody who can play on the right, really. Crap. Defensive right. You know what? I'm going to play him out of position, but that's okay. It's, it's more of a... And I'm going to switch him to... Pull back, defend. I think that'll be better for him. Oh, God. All right. Um, 92. Must have been one of their players. Pritos. Let's bring him in here. Yeah, we'll bring Britos in. That'll be all right. All right. Oh, God. Britos just got injured? Really? Clear it out. Uh, yeah, hold on. Sub. Oh, my God. A thigh injury. Oh, Zaspi. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> Shit. All right, that's the guy I brought in. I'm not going to have a choice. I'm going to have to bring in Marrera. Damn it. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, come on. Nobody's there. Nobody is there. Oh, uh, the keeper. Whew. Way to come off your line. Oh, no. We haven't played this tactic in a long time. Uh, does somebody want to close on this guy? Oh, so close. They didn't close down on him. Oh, my God. Push forward. We aren't going to have any time. No time. I honestly think being 10 men down was, is, oh, damn it. Damn it. Nah. We're going to lose the freaking silverware with this shit. I cannot believe. God, that is three losses in a row. Bastards. Bastards. I'm angry. Aggressive. Oh. Oh. Three losses in a row. Oh, what a way to bottle it, man. Bottle job. That was 
Brutal. Uh, yeah. Fine, two weeks salary. Oh, my God. That might be the biggest bottle job I've ever had. Boy, that's good. That's, that's really soured me on this team. Mm. Wow. Wow. How do you win 10 in a row and then lose three in a row? When you had only lost one all season long, they got promoted and they just completely mailed it in. No heart, no passion. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. A new attendance record. Fine, whatever. All right, let's get up to the uh, end of season awards and stuff. I'll be back for that in a second while I'm sitting here just banging my head against the desk. All right, we are finally back. My God, this took forever. Uh, so we're near the end of November. All right, so let's see. Um, end of season. All right, they're on break till the preseason. All right, end of season awards. The Winter Soldier, 75%. Nicholas Prieto, the goal of the season. Facundo Milan, the young player of the season. How did he do? Four goals, three assists in 15 matches. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm waiting for playoffs are over. I'm waiting for it to flip because I don't think we've been given our new budget or anything yet. I brought in a couple of Brazilians on trial. They're, they turned out not to be as good as I had hoped they would be. Come on. Come on. God, some of these off seasons just drag out. Oh, well. We'll call that an episode, guys. That'll be the official end of the season. Uh, so we'll be back. Um, I've, I've been looking at some players. I've actually gone to make contract offers to a few guys on expiring contracts and I get that little they don't think you're good enough for their point this point in their career and I'm like we're in the top league but I guess because we haven't officially gone to the top league even though we know that we got automatic promotion still cannot believe that we bottled that away ugh uh god i am just i'm just sick by that because that hurts my reputation growth uh i'm pretty sure finishing second even though we were you know first until the last 10 minutes of the season doesn't matter i don't suppose oh look it's biscuits i wonder if that's our biscuits didn't we rename him Was that even this version? Was it Oreo? 25 in Spain. No, that wasn't him. All right, well, I give up. I know I know we had a player named Biscuits. Might have been last year. He just jumped out in my head when I saw that. All right, guys. Well, we will be back in the uh, 
So let's see, we are in the Segunda Division. We're moving up with the automatic promotion to the Primera Division. That'll be the number seven league. I don't believe there's any jobs. I mean, there's some jobs available. I don't think going back to a second division right now. Um, River Plate, I think they just hired a, hired a coach, I believe. So, yeah. And third division is number 11. Now, the only reason to go back to either second or third division, right, because we're going to be at number seven. I might take a job at number nine. I don't know if I'd go back to third division, but if an offer came in, it would be that two steps, you know, two steps back, one step forward, or one step back, two steps forward thing that we kind of did here at Cerro Largo, that that would get us into Brazil, which would make getting a job in Brazil with Santos much easier, I think. But anyway... Hit the like button, subscribe. We'll be back uh, for next season. We'll go through transfers. We'll be uh, in the in the uh, Primera Division to Uruguay, and uh, we'll see if we can keep uh, keep from getting relegated straight back since we got promoted straight back up. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.